two barges broke away from their pier on the Elizabeth River in Chesapeake. It happened this morning. And they ended up drifting right into the Jordan Bridge. Now, luckily, no one was hurt, but both the Coast Guard and police rushed to the scene. Ten of your sides, Art Khan was also there. He joins us now live. And the question, Art, any damage to the bridge? Well, Tom, virtually none. The barges that struck the base of the piling supporting the bridge weren't being pushed or pulled at the time. They merely drifted into the structure. The South Norfolk Jordan Bridge wasn't built just to replace the old decaying bridge that used to span this section of the Elizabeth River. It was built for the future. You know, because this is such a key location for the Intercoastal Waterway, um, with the um, now the integration of a lot of the super tanker structures that are using the Intercoastal and the Panama Canal, plus the naval vessels in this region. In other words, we overbuilt the structure really to take impact from much larger vessels than, than, a, than a barge uh, drifting with the current. And you don't have to be an engineer to understand what bridge manager Kevin Crum is talking about. Where you can look at this bridge structure and tell it's different than most bridges. It's over the, the piling sizes and the size of the columns here versus the other, the other bridge structures you'll see here that are much, much older. The wide concrete islands that support the tall columns holding up the bridge have both the mass and the design to withstand and deflect considerable impact. Good gracious, solid concrete like that? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you ain't gonna hurt that. We did it right, exactly. And everything worked as, as planned and, and as our engineering team planned many years ago. I think they did good. I wouldn't want to see one full speed hit it, you know, because I seen the end of it fall down when they were building it. I'll see it in too. Yeah, Roger Williams is referring to something that happened a year ago to the day almost. During construction of the bridge, a temporary support beam failed, sending a 90-ton piece of concrete to the ground. Now, that support beam was never intended to be a permanent part of the structure, and fortunately, the finished product is holding up much better. Live from Chesapeake, Art Con, 10 on your side.